Hey everybody, welcome to my series on the RuneScape lore of various Slayer creatures. On today's video, we have the Nihil. If you've been enjoying the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy the video. <clears throat> RuneScape lore, Slayer creatures, Chapter 3. Nihil. Our story starts with the race known as the Iluyanka, where at an unknown point in time before the arrival of the Empty Lord, Lord Zaros, the anima on their planet Aiea changed from pure to pristine. This unexpected switch, in turn, caused their race to start rejecting its life force and resulting in a drastically reduced birth rate. Since the Iluyanka were but peaceful beings, farming and crafting per usual, they did not know what had afflicted them and were unable to discover the cause. Just as they were teetering on the verge of desperation, their settlement was approached by Zaros himself, in the form of a shadowy man. He offered them a cure for their infertility, if only they agreed to accompany him from their world to his, Gilinor. Faced with an impossible situation, the Iluyanka had no choice but to trust him. With new hope now in their hearts, they crossed the threshold of the portal. There was no turning back. The Nihil were created as part of Zaros's attempt to combat the infertility of the Iluyanka by manipulating and weaving around their living essence. Zaros did not have enough power to manipulate their essence and restore their ability to procreate though, so he returned to Freneske to harvest energy from his creator, the Elder God, Ma. One of the earliest known, if not the very first subject, who claims to have been brutally tortured in the depths of Freneske by Zaros, goes by the name of the Fallen Nihil, a creature of enormous size and increased intelligence, and the only known Nihil to be of the male sex. Almost nothing is known about the Fallen Nihil, other than that he eventually came into the service of the Queen of Ashes, an extremely powerful and intense goddess, rivaling the stature of Bandos, Tusca, and even Zhao Tok, according to V, first mentioned during the hero's welcome quest. Whilst not known to have ever been to Gilinor previously, and thought to be currently building up her strength and conquering other worlds, V theorized she may have been gearing for a takeover after Guthic's death and the shattering of the Edicts of Guthix. Sometime during the Sixth Age, the Queen of Ashes became interested in the Lumbridge Crater during the Celebration of Fire event being held there. She had her minions use the fire energy generated from the event to send her envoy, the Fallen Nihil, through the plains to emerge from the bonfire in the crater. The Queen of Ashes tasked the Fallen Nihil to spread word of her coming and to bring back burning embers for study. The Fallen Nihil confirms this during a limited time excursion by saying, My queen noticed this world in the heavens as if it had been revealed from behind a curtain. Last year she felt an increase in fire energy in this location. She had her pirate and spent a year preparing to use that energy, and with it she could bring me through the plains. Many interesting embers have been turning up in this world, and my queen wishes to analyze their properties. Collect as many burning embers as possible and bring them back to me. My task is to act as a scout and herald for my queen, to seek worlds that are ready for her enlightenment, and to deliver messages between those who are already enlightened. The Queen of Ashes Rush is nothing, small one. She is biding her time and will arrive when she feels this world is ready. However, as of the quest aftermath, the edicts have since been re-established without the Queen of Ashes ever appearing, but we will see what the future holds. 
Back on Freneske, Zaros reformed the essences of Icene, Demon, Aviancy, and Vampire into the Nihil, which he brought to life using Ma's energy, as an elder god's divinity was the only way to create life from nothingness. Since Zaros required Ma's energy to give life to the Nihil, he considered them, and himself, a failure, wallowing in self-pity that his own powers were deemed unreliable. Not all was lost though for Zaros, as one Nihil did rise to power. Zaros says, One of these Nihil, originally shunned, has fast outgrown the rest. I have chosen to uplift her. To do so, I had to implant a small sliver of my being. The irony of this is not lost on me. I am not proud of this, but to leave her as she was would have seen the other Nihil destroy her. With her newfound sentience, she named herself Nex in the old infernal tongue. Her speed and capability for learning are astounding. Although Nex will prove useful in bringing unity to the world, this entire experiment has only gone to prove my unworthiness. Although Nex would prove to be one of Zaros' most powerful and loyal servants, that will be a video for another time. What happened to the Nihil on Freneske after Zaros abandoned them is still largely unknown, but one thing is for sure, they are still down there in limbo. That guys is the origins of the Nihil. If you enjoyed it, stick around for the next video on the Phoenix. Thank you to JDV who voiced Zaros and ACPL who voiced the Fallen Nihil. RuneScape. Forever.